Hearing none, Bill 132 amends the Parks and Recreational Facilities Schedule, Chapter 15, Article 8, Section 15-68.1 of the Hawaii County Code, 1983-2006 edition, as amended by renaming Kahakai Park, the Kahiula Beach Park, in recognition of its original place name. Introduce Ms. Kirkowitz. Our office was contacted by a couple of Puna residents, Noeyao Wu O'Brien and Leah Gauker. Um, they had found a Puna reconnaissance survey through Bishop Museum that identified significant cultural and historical features um, at a park in um, Hawaiian beaches known as Kahakai. And we wanted to rename the park Waikahiula in honor of its identity, its mo'olelo, and the ahapua'a that it exists in. Um, some of the significant features that are there include a haleva'a, um, a platform for a historical house site, and some ancient agricultural sites. Um, and these require proper preservation because it is a public park. Um, these conversations that we've had with community have also included our Department of Parks and Recreation. We also have a former SHPD employee, Teresa Donham, who is an archaeologist and former member of the Cultural Resource Commission with the county as part of this HUI because the whole idea is to create a community-driven stewardship plan where residents of that Aina uh, can be involved in the ongoing preservation and stewardship of this park. In my conversations with Sean Ale Maile with SHPD, um, he did confirm that there is a need for an AIS and that stands for an archaeological inventory survey. So we will be working with the department to make that happen. Um, there was a request for the Department of Parks and Recreation to be president at council. So Mo, if you could come forward. Um, thank you to your staff, especially James Komata, for meeting with our office and community and for supporting our efforts to um, support our community in this request. Good morning, Maurice Messina, Director of Parks and Recreation. Um, uh, Ms. Kirkowitz basically said it all. Um, I mean, this is the historic name of the village that was there, and we cannot find uh, the reason why it was actually named Kahakai Park other than, you know, that means beach or ocean. So uh, our department 100% stands behind the, behind the renaming of this park and the changing of the park schedule. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Um, just a couple other things I wanted to note. Councilmember Inaba did bring to my attention some historical documents where Waikahi Ula does not contain an Okina. Um, so we will likely be making a change to um, the place name at second and final reading. We've got one final chance to make sure this gets right, this is right, because those diacritical markings do change the meaning of name. So we just wanna make sure that everything is buttoned up and ready to go, but just wanted to let you know that that is something that we're going to be putting forward because I know it's important to have signs um, at our park with the place names. Um, and then one of the testifiers, I think it was Eileen O'Hara, mentioned um, some signage that talked about the history mo'olelo of this place. So we will absolutely coordinate getting that information to you so it can be displayed and anybody that is visiting that park um, will be able to read and appreciate um, the stories of that place. That's great, we can do it uh, like, kind of like the displays that we have at um, YPO Valley Lookout, something like that. Absolutely, right. thank you for being such a great partner in this, I appreciate it. No Looking problem. for my colleagues for their continued support, mahalo. Thank you, Council Member Kirkwood.